Hello, my dear learners. Welcome to NIOS Senior Secondary Chemistry Classes. Myself Neha Kesharwani, and I am here to represent the rest part of the uh, previous chapter, that is the chemical equilibrium. This is part two. In part one, we have been discussed about the definition and types of chemical equilibrium. In this part, we are going to discuss about the properties of the chemical equilibrium. So, if we talk about the topics, the topics which we will going to discuss today are, we have been discussed about the reversible reaction, we have been discussed about the dynamic equilibrium, phase change equilibrium, solution equilibrium and lead chatelier principle. So, in this part we are going to discuss about the properties of the chemical equilibrium. In this part we are going to discuss about the properties of chemical equilibrium. So, first we are going to discuss about the change in concentration. So, there are three basic uh, properties that is concentration, temperature and pressure. So, first we are going to discuss about the concentration. If change in concentration will occur then what will happen? So, concentration here you can see a reaction when methane gets reacted with water this will converted into hydrogen and carbon dioxide. So, when the concentration change this will shift to the right direction that means the forward reaction will occur and we will found more product. So, add more methane rate of forward will increase that means more product will form. As more products form rate of reverse reaction will increase that means more reactants will form then new equilibrium will be reached. So, as the concentration change of the reactant this will shift to the more to the product that means shift to the forward direction. If change in concentration will occur in the product part then what will happen? Decrease in methane then rate of forward will decrease then more reactants will form that means this will shift to the left direction and more reactants will be present. So, as more reactants form rate of forward reaction will increase more products will form then new equilibrium will be reached. So, we have been discussed about the concentration. Now, we are going to discuss about the temperature. How temperature affect the rate or of the equilibrium. So, as the temperature increase then what will happen? A plus B it is converted to the C plus D which is product and some amount of heat will be formed or evolved in this reaction then this kind of reaction where the heat can be evolved. So, when during the reaction heat evolve, so rates of both that means forward and reverse reaction will increase but not equally that means higher temperature favors the endothermic direction more that means shift to the left. That means when the temperature of the container in which reaction can occur will increase that means if we take a container and in this container we perform a reaction and we give some amount of heat then what will happen this will convert it into fast to the product that means forward reaction will increase as the forward reaction will increase because of equilibrium stabilization that this will go to the backward direction and new equilibrium will be stabilized. So, higher temperature will favors the equilibrium condition. So, when we decrease the temperature what will happen? Rates of both forward and reverse reaction will decrease but not equally. So, lower temperature favors the exothermic direction more. Exothermic means where or uh, evaporate some kind of energy. 
Endothermic reaction means what? Uh, for reaction, we give some energy, then this is known as endothermic reaction. And whenever during the reaction energy will evolve, then this kind of reaction is known as exothermic reaction. So this favors, that means decrease in temperature favors the exothermic direction more. That means the reaction will shift to the right direction, that is the forward direction and the product will increase, product will increase as compared to the reactant. So this will be shown on your screen by the seesaw game. You can see here the concentration of reactant which is the left side will decrease and the concentration of the product which is the right side part will increase. So always remember decrease the temperature is always favor to the exothermic direction that means right direction that is forward direction. So we have discussed about the concentration, temperature. Now the time is to discuss about the pressure. So pressure part we always discuss in the gaseous form. So as you can see on your screen, when carbon dioxide which is in the gaseous state will convert it into aqueous carbon dioxide, this is also a equilibrium reaction or we can say that reversible reaction. If pressure increases, what will happen? So if pressure increases, the concentration of gas phase only shift to the right direction that is more aqueous carbon dioxide will form. This will we can bet better understand with the help of the example of cold drink or soda bottle. So what will happen in that case? A uh, pressurized compressed carbon dioxide gas, gas will be dissolute in the water. So as we open up the cold drink bottles, a pop-up sound of fizz sound can be evolved because of the evaporation of what carbon dioxide gas. So as the temperature increases, what will happen? This will shift to the forward direction. That means carbon dioxide gases to carbon dioxide aqueous form. So on the other hand, when pressure decreases, what will happen? When pressure decreases, low pressure, the concentration of gas phase only will be shift to the left direction that means more the gaseous state. That means this will convert it into, into the backward direction that means carbon dioxide aqueous to the carbon dioxide gaseous form because as the pressure release what will happen? The dissolute carbon dioxide gas into the water will be evolved and this will further converted into carbon dioxide gaseous form. So we can say on lower pressure what will happen? Carbon dioxide liquid form or aqueous form will be converted into carbon dioxide gaseous form. That means lowers the, concern, uh, lowers the pressure will suits to the or always for, uh, favors the uh, backward direction. So increase in pressure in all gases. What will happen? Increase in concentration on both sides. That means of backward direction and forward direction, both sides, but not equal. High pressure favors the side with the least molecule. That means less crowded. That is shift to the right direction. That means always remember high pressure favors to the side where the least molecules is present. For example, on your screen, you can see here, there is a reaction 2A in the gaseous state plus 4B, which is also in the gaseous state. This will convert it into 3C, which is gaseous state, again gaseous state. So about the pressure, we always discuss the pressure in the case of gaseous form. So you can see here, reactants are 6 molecule and products are 3 molecule. So as the pressure increases for all the gases, what will happen? This will favors the side where the least molecules or less crowded part is uh, 
favored. Less crowded part is favored. That means this reaction is always going to the forward direction. Forward direction. When the less crowded area is backward direction or reactant part, then this will occur to the backward direction. So this will happen in this case. Always remember for increase in pressure for all gases, high pressure favors the side with the least molecule or less crowded part. Now moving to the next slide. If decrease in pressure occurs in all gases, then or we can say reverse happen, reverse happen, then what will happen? Decrease in concentration on both sides, that means reactant part as well as product part, but not equally. Low pressure favors the side with more molecule or more crowded part. That means in this case, in the given reaction, this will shift to the left side. Why left side or why backward side? Because low pressure favors the more crowded area, which is the part of the reactant in this case. Reactant having six molecules, where the product having only three molecules. So more crowded area is the reactant part. So that is the reason as the pressure decreases, this will shift to the backward direction or reverse direction. Change in pressure as the molecules are same. If the reactant molecules and the product molecules both are same, then what will happen? In before, we have discussed about the different molecules, when different molecules will present. But now here we can understand when same molecules are present in the backward side or reactant side as well as product side. Then what will happen? If we can increase the pressure or decrease the pressure as the reaction having same kind of molecules in the reactant part and the product part, then this reaction is not affected. We can say there is no change occur. Why this will happen? Because reactant part as well as the product part both having same number of molecules. That is the reason no effect occur. What will happen if we add some catalyst? If we add some catalyst, who, what is the role of catalyst? So catalyst are those group which having tendency to increase the rate of the reaction. So whenever we add the catalyst, this will increase the rate of the forward reaction as well as the backward reaction. So the role of catalyst is to enhance or to increase the rate of the reaction. But what will happen if we add catalyst in the case of equilibrium? Then no effect will occur. That means this reaction gets equilibrized faster. That means when we add the catalyst into the reaction, what will happen? Forward reaction will increases as well as backward reaction rate is always increases. So what will happen? It will be equalized and equilibria gets stabilized more faster. So this will happen when we add a catalyst in the equilibrium reaction or reverse reaction. Now our last topic of this part is Haber's process. So Haber's process was given by scientist Haber. And what is the reaction? When nitrogen, one mole of nitrogen will react with three mole of hydrogen, this will convert it into ammonia and some amount of energy will also evolve. That is the reason this is known as exothermic reaction. So if we talk about the Haber's process, ammonia is made in a reversible reaction called Haber's process using an iron catalyst. So we can say the forward reaction is exothermic. This means a lower temperatures shift the equilibrium to the right and increases the yield of ammonia. However, a temperature that is too low slow down the rate of the reaction and so a 
compromise temperature of 670 Kelvin is used. If we talk about forward reaction, the forward reaction produces fewer moles of gas. This means that increasing the temperature shifts the equilibrium to the right and increases the yield of ammonia. However, maintaining a high pressure is expensive and so a compromise pressure of 2000 kPa is used. As in the production of ethanol, the product is removed and the unreacted nitrogen and hydrogen gases are recycled back over the catalyst. This will increase the yield of the ammonia. So this is about the Haber's process which is a better example for chemical equilibrium. So this is the part 2. In this part we have been discussed about the different properties of chemical equilibrium, different conditions where temperature, pressure, concentration, these part we have been discussed. So what will happen if the temperature decreases or increases, pressure decreases or increases, what will happen in the case of equilibrium? So lastly we have been discussed about the Haber's process which is very 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 important in your syllabus. So I hope you all are understand. So if you have any query, any question you can ask me by mail or Swayam portal. Thank you so much.